YouTube Super Subtle. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the Iron Giant. I have been dying to get my hands on one of these for so long, but they sell out so quick here in the UK. Every pre-order that comes up literally goes out of stock. So thank you very much to the lovely people at Diamond Select for sending this through to us completely free of charge for us to review. Thank you, Diamond. Really appreciate this one. This is the Iron Giant, the metallic version of the Iron Giant collector's action figure by Warner Brothers and Diamond Select. And like I say, I've been really excited to get this one open. This is the metallic version, so it looks awesome because the Iron Giant obviously is the Iron Giant, the big robot uh, from the 90s cartoon. And it's so awesome to see him um, in like the nice silver metallic look. Uh, it, really, it really does add to the aesthetic of the figure. Right, and apparently he's got light up eyes as well, so let, let's jump in and uh, unbox this bad boy. Let's do it. Yeah, light up eyes on this one. I'll just stay on the back. October 1957, nine-year-old uh, Hogarth, Hogarth Hughes lives in Rockwell, Maine, a seemingly idyllic town, hearing stories of a UFO that crashed into the sea. Hogarth always on the lookout for mutant for mutant aliens finding uh, finds a huge metallic oh my god i can't read always on the lookout for mutant and aliens finds a huge metal eating robot with an insatiable curiosity and equally insatiable appetite but the ex the extraterrestrial's presence unleashes a wave of cold war paranoia that threatens to engulf the rockwell to engulf rockwell unless hogarth and his 50 foot friend can stop it the, uh, the next figure of the iron giant is based on his appearance in the 1999 movie of the same name over 16 points of articulation. He features light up eyes, interchangeable parts, batteries included. Nice. It's been a long time since it's in the cartoon. But wasn't, didn't Vin Diesel do like the motion capture for it and, and the voice, if I remember? Wasn't this one like the early films where like Vin Diesel acted out in a studio and like cartoonists used his like movements and things? And he was also the voice of Iron Giant, even though the Iron Giant made noises and stuff. It was, it was Vin Diesel. Ugh. But yeah, like I say, it's been a long time since I've seen The Iron Giant. Very old movie. But um, it's such an iconic character. Obviously, it was featured in um, Ready Player One, featured The Iron Giant. As, like, as one of the players, sort of like um, NPC kind of things or something. That's for the battery compartment at the back. Okay. We've got loads of hands and things here as well to interchange. All sorts of different hands. Very cool. There's another one at the top here to snip. And that frees the top compartment with the other two hands in it. now to get the giant himself out so i'm going to go from the back so i don't want to clip any of that nice metallic i might not be able to actually i might need to go from the front damn it just trying to avoid touching getting the scissors touching the metallic bit there we go we got it we got it quite easily okay no the last one I should free him. Yeah. Oh, there's one. I forgot about the ones on his legs. Come on. How many rope ties do you need? There we are. He's free. He's a lot lighter than I thought he was going to be. I don't know why, because obviously he looks metallic. You expect him to weigh heavily because of the look of him. But that's, I suppose that's a good design. If it looks like he weighs a ton, but he's absolutely light as a feather, that's just, you know, prop, prop, props to the paint department on that one. Because it genuinely looks like he should be a die cast metal. Here he is, guys, out of the packaging. Look at that. And let's see those eyes light up. They're ready. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. The little eyes do light up. You can see there, it does, it does light up. They're not massively bright, but you can see it look off on so that's very cool 
does add to the look of making him look very uh, alive in his face, which is very cool. Uh, got him to stand there. Yep, yeah, got him to stand perfectly. He looks awesome. All right, guys, let's bring you guys down to the desk cam where you guys can get up close personal look at the Iron Giant. Let's do it. All right, guys, so here he is out of the packaging, looking absolutely awesome. Like I say, those eyes really do glow. Very cool. I'm going to need to up my camera angle for this one. Oh, it's a bit tall. It's on the taller side. Yeah, those eyes glow really nicely. Let me just flick those off for the time being. But yeah, it really it looks dead behind the eyes without the light, to be honest. The light does really add to that like spark of realism. I love the, the the nice metallic look to the figure. Very nice. The head, the head does move down, uh, but doesn't move up too much. But you can articulate the little jaw, so make it to uh, animate his face and things and give him expression. The arms are all on little ball joints. You can rotate those around as much as the the figure will allow. Um, and then they've got little elbows as well. So highly articulated. And the hands are interchangeable. So at the moment he's got grab hands on. Uh, so you can like grab things, but we can change those up uh, To multiple different hands now just to show you what what hands they gave us uh, we got some sort of like clawed hands uh, Some more like open palm looking hands uh, flat palm hands uh, And then there's one of each of those for the other side as well so three different alternate sets of hands there and then we also get the big gun piece as well which is connects to one of his hands very cool moving him around you've got the uh, diaphragm hinge here so you can rotate him there as well to get some more movement and bending and stuff uh, the waist doesn't really sw uh, you can swivel you can time you can move him at the diaphragm but you can't really swivel him at the waist the legs are a little bit more on the trickier side they are on a ball joint so you can like move them out as well as in um, and forwards, so he can make him sit down. He's got the little knee hinge. No rotation in the knee though, so that is a static knee hinge. Uh, feet are on just re regular back and forth, uh, no side to side, and no no display peg holes. So there is no chance of using a display base. But to be fair, once I found that pose I had him in like that, he's pretty sturdy and he's not really going anywhere. All around, this is an awesome figure and has definitely lived up to the hype. To change the battery, there is just a one screw little compartment here on his back to change over those batteries. Uh, I believe that will be a watch battery um, in there. But yeah, overall, the design is awesome. Um, he definitely lives up to the hype. And I'm, I'm really glad just to have an Iron Giant in my collection, finally. Like I say, I've been wanting one of these for many years and have never been able to get one in the wild. So thank you, Diamond, for the hookup. Once again, thank you very much to Diamond Select for the hookup, like I say, on this figure. It is absolutely stunning and definitely worth the money. So go grab one of these while you can. The metallic one with the light-up eyes definitely is my favourite. But guys... What are your thoughts on this figure? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this action figure review and you want to see more and you're new around here, then why not smash the subscribe button? Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making more awesome videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the force be with you.